Hello everyone, this is Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this car battery tester from the company Topdon. This one is the BT300P, and this car battery tester can test 12 volt systems or 24 volt systems, and it can test batteries from 100 to 2000 cold cranking amps. You can also use it to test your cranking system and charging system. There's even a built-in printer for you to print the test results. In this video, I'll show you how to use this tool, and we'll see if this is a good tool for your home do-it-yourselfers. Let's get started. Let me show you the unboxing of this Top Don BT300P battery tester. The equipment comes in this very nice carrying case. Right here is a BT300P battery tester. User manual. It also comes with two rolls of thermal paper. Here's a quick look at this tool. In the middle is a two and a quarter inch LCD display. And in the middle you have the menu button, enter button, exit button, and to navigate up and down. Now if you want to access the thermal paper, pull up on this latch. And right here is the roll of thermal paper. So if you use up this roll, they do come with two extra rolls you can insert and it'll pin out the test results. Let's look at the back. And right here are the two alligator clamps you need to connect to your car battery when you're doing your testing. So let's take this to a car, connect it up, and we'll see how this tool works. Now there are no internal batteries inside this test tool. You get the power when you connect it to the car battery. So here I'll connect the negative clamp to the negative terminal of the car battery. And then connect the positive clamp to the positive terminal of the car battery. Now you see the tool will power up. Right now you're looking at the main menu. The first item is battery test. Select enter. Here you can select the different type of batteries. Now this is a regular flooded battery, but you can also test AGM, gel, or EFB battery. Press enter. Next you need to enter the cold cranking amp rating on this battery. Select enter. And let me show you where you can find the cold cranking amp rating on a battery. Now to find the cold cranking amp rating on your car battery, look on the top of it. There should be a sticker or a label. And for this battery, the CCA or cold cranking amp is 640. Back on the tool, I'm going to change this to 640. Select enter. Now it's testing the battery. And this screen will show you the test result. The battery is good. The health is 96% and charge is 100%. The car battery is rated at 640 cold cranking amp and the measured cold cranking amp is 627. The voltage is 12.73 volt. The internal resistance is 4.78 milliohm. Now if the car battery is good, the internal resistance usually is very low, is around 4 milliohm. If the car battery is getting older and is bad, you'll see a higher internal resistance, usually around 12 milliohm. So this one's good. Also want to mention with the battery voltage, when the ignition is off, you really don't want to see a car battery voltage that's less than 11.9 volts. At that voltage, the car battery is actually less than 50% charge. So that's just something you want to keep in mind. Now because this battery tester does have a built-in printer, you can print this result by pressing the enter print button right here. And right here is the printer result. Now with the printer on this tool, sometimes it might get jammed behind this cutting blade right here. Like you see it right now. Now if you have that problem, what I recommend is tear the paper away from you like this. Instead of tearing it towards you. And when you do that, you actually minimize the chance of it jamming. Now when you're done with the test, press exit. Next you can test the cranking test with a charging test. And let's try the cranking test. Now it's asking you to start the engine. Here it tells you the cranking test is normal. Exit itself. 
Next we'll do the charging test. Scroll down the charging test. Hit enter. Now I'll start the car. Press enter. Now increase the speed to 2500 RPM and keep it there for five seconds. Press enter. And the charging is normal. Exit. Now you go to review data. There's a battery test. Scroll down. And this is charging test. And when you're done using a tool, disconnect the clamps. And the unit will power off automatically. So I just finished testing the flooded battery inside my Nissan Pathfinder. Next to my Pathfinder is my Odyssey and that one has an AGM battery. So I'm going to take the tester over to that car, connect it up, and I'll show you the test result. So again, I'll connect the negative clamp to the negative terminal of the car battery. And then connect the positive clamp to the positive terminal of the car battery. The tool will power on. Now this one has an AGM battery. I'm going to scroll down to AGM. I'm going to enter the CCA or cold cranking amp. Now the cold cranking amp on this battery is 650. So I'll change it to 650, select enter. Now it's testing the battery. Now with this battery showing, the battery's good, but needs charging. The health is 97%, but the charge is only 57%. The measure voltage is 12.34 volt, and the internal resistance is 3.88 milliohm. So that tells me the battery's good, but I just need to charge it up to bring the charge back up to 100%. And to make sure the charging system in this car is good, I'm going to exit out and let's go to charging test. Press enter. I'm going to start the car. Press enter. Now increase the RPM to 2500 for 5 seconds. Press enter. And showing the charging system is normal. Overall, I find this top down BT300P to be simple to use. In less than a minute, is able to test and tell you the health condition of your car battery. I do like the fact that it has a built in printer, so you can print the test result and be able to compare the test data, say if you're comparing before charging and after charging, or if you're going from car to car. Now, with the issue of the printer jamming, Again, you can remedy this by tearing the paper away from you and they'll help prevent the issue. Now, I also like the fact that you can review the data and it'll save the last test that you did. This is a feature I've not seen in other battery testers in this price range. Now, at the time of this review, this BT300P retails for $100. And if you're interested, I'll include the link below this video. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.